Mike McFedder with us right now. Of course, we talked with him on the phone just a little while ago. We're Friday here as MSS and ISPA are the show on Saturday. Mike's been out how many times? Three, four? Uh, I think three times. Okay, what do we think so far? We had to start with a little adjustment on the front wing. Yeah, yeah, we've been trying to get the front wing from dragging the ground uh, and getting the air pressure right in the top wing. This isn't the normal top wing we run here. Unfortunately, uh, the turn one catch fence got our normal wing, so this is what we got to deal with this week and trying to get the car stable yeah. uh, and comfortable. Three tier wing now. You told me I had no idea that that many hours went into building a wing. Yes, yeah, there's there's a lot of hours. Um, uh, just in, and it could be the way I fabricated. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. There's there's a whole bunch of tin work inside there that you know you can't see. Mm -hmm. um, there's there's a lot of welding uh, to get everything tied together and and a lot of forming Mike, the shape too. Right. Do we need Mike? Okay, hold on. Mike's got. I'll follow you. I'll follow you. Sorry. That's okay. Kenyon Zitska is here and he's by himself, so he's running one of Mike's old cars. So there's something that they saw in there that they need Mike's help with. All yep, set? set? All right. What was that, Mike? What was wrong? Uh, just getting the Hans hooked up for them. They're, oh, they're okay. a little tricky. They uh, are. You got to get them just right, right orientation. So. Okay. All right. So we made a shock change, and if you go back to our video last year, probably about this time, yep. we're going back to that older shock. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We're going to the. We'll call them the the secret sauce. Uh, they're old, <laughs> but man, they work. So mm -hmm. uh, we'll see how they do. All right. So this is more just. We're not necessarily trying to fix something. We just want to see. Right. Yeah. We want to see if it goes better. I, you know, when we put them on last year, it went better. Okay. So we'll see what happens today. Overall happy. Yeah. Overall happy. Uh, okay. We got some pretty scrappy tires on it, and uh, we're in turn decent time. So. Okay. Give and her some rubber tomorrow and see what happens. And speaking of tires, go on. I want you to explain to me what you what you said earlier. How, he was saying we're only going to get so fast on these tires. And there was one thing he pointed out in particular. I want to make sure I get in there nice yeah. and tight so you guys can see it. Yeah, if you see the diagonal line, that's actually where they mold the tires. Uh -huh. And it's what we call the stripe of death. When you start seeing that, that tires jump. Yeah, so basically this thing got loose. Is that what yeah, caused it to right. wear like that? Right, yeah, this is our high miler tire, so it's got 120 laps on it before so it, we got here today. So, so it's it was, basically done. It was pretty wore out when we started. It's just there to have a tire on the car. Exactly. So then how do you know, based on what you're doing today, that it's going to work when you have a fresher set tomorrow? Well, the great thing is we're going to set the car up for the end of the race tomorrow. Oh, so the tires like are wore out. So, okay. Um, and I'm too cheap to buy a new one, so. All right. So just That's like everything else. You don't want to be fast on lap one. You don't want to be on lap 50. Yeah, you get fast too early and you know you're in trouble. So right, exactly. Good to see you again, Mike. Appreciate yeah. your time. Thank you. Thanks, Doug.